السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ربی شرخ علی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل العقدت ملی ثانی یقہ قولی ربنا زدنا علما اللہم فقہنا فی الدین اللہم انی اسلوک علما نافیا و رزق طیبا و عملا متقبلا آمین رب العالمین So here we are with our session number 81, Alhamdulillah. And I am going to start with a quick review from the test. And inshallah, then we will come back to our conditional sentences, inshallah. So in your test, uh, my dear sisters, um, if you can hear me, uh, well, um, the first question was, uh, did the underlying la is, you know, you were to determine the correct type of this la. Right? La takfur. If you are given this question today with la in the beginning followed by mudare, what are you going to look for, number one? What should you look at before you determine the type of la? Anyone can answer this. Not a difficult question. Whenever, you know, So, yes, so you are going to look for what is after it, number one, right? It is, is it mudare or it, is it an ism? So, because, you know, you have a fail after it. Number one, fail after it. And number two, as Sister Rubin has already mentioned, number one was fail after it. Number two was sakoon. What is the status of my mudare? So, what is the status of this mudare? It is majzoom. So this la can only be on one type. It cannot be nafia, right? It cannot be nafia because la, la nafia, will it change the arab of your jumla failia? Will it change the arab of mudari after it? What do you think about la nafia? Does it make, no, it does not change it, right? It should be la takfuru, but this is not. This is not la takfuru, this is la takfur. So this is going to be your la nahia. Since mudari was majzoom after it. It cannot be your la nafia to lil jins. After la nafia to lil jins, what do we see? Do we see fail or something else after la nafia to lil jins? Hmm? Ism, right? Ism is there after la nafia to lil jins. Easy? I hope this is clear. So when it comes to your haroof jazima, Haroof e jazima, that haroof, remember, there can be an ism, there can be a smaul jazima, and there can be haroof e jazima. So from the list that you were given, lamul amr, does it make mudare majzoom? What do you think? Yes or no? Type one or type yes or no, whatever. Absolutely, it is different, right? La nafia to lil jins was la raiba fi. Remember, there is absolutely no doubt in it. We have just learned our jumla ismia negation. And please, if you don't remember, go back to the recordings. The recordings are made so that people review them and do not make mistakes. If you do not review, if you do not go back to recordings, there is no point in recording, right? Yes, other people are benefiting who are not the part of the class. Yes, they are beneficial for those people um, who are not in the same time zone. But for the students who are currently enrolled in the course, recording is for the purpose of revision. Okay, so please, my dear sisters, if you do have any questions, please do go back and listen to the recording. And you are, you know, there, there is, you know, a slide class slides are there that can help you what is going to be in the particular in the particular recording that you are going to look into okay so that will always help you that you you know this is going to be there in this recording so you all you can always go back okay so when it comes to huruf e jazima now coming back to huruf e jazima is lamul amr huruf e jazima yes or no hmm? lamul amr is one of the li lamma la Li lama la, and what was the last one? Li lama la, and there was in, right? Li lama la in. They were all your haruf e jazima, if you remember. Li makes your mudare majzoom, which is also called lamul amr because it has a connotation of a command, 
then is there is in that is your haruf e jazima then there was lamma that makes mudari majzum after it if it is haruf e jazima then there is la nahya that you, makes your mudari majzum so all these are your haruf e jazima and hatta and fa they are the haruf that you studied with mudari mansub right they are associated with mudari mansub and you have learned an has a power on its own to make mudare mansub however hatta and fa cannot make mudare mansub on their own they have to have a hidden an after it we we all remember this and not every fa is going to make mudare mansub there has to be a condition or a fa to make mudare mansub and that fa that makes mudare mansub um, and which has a hidden an after it is called fa us sababiya right okay the underlined la here is let me just enlarge it so that you can all see what is your question okay so the underlined la is la nafia la nafia la nafia to lil jins what do you think my dear sisters type um should i click 1 2 or 3 nafia why are we calling it la nafia we are going to look at the haraka on the last letter if yes there is no no fatha no no there is no sukun on the ain right there is no sukun on ain it is not not la yan fa right the mudara is not majzum therefore the only one option is that this la is la nafia if it was la nahya it would have made mudare majzum right easy yes yes so and there is no no la that you are going to see that has an ability to make mudare mansub right so mudare is not going to even if it was la nafia to lil jins you will look for an ism that is mansub in status right right la nafia to lil jins has an ism after it but here we are seeing a mudare by which we can identify by the presence of ya letter ya is the sign of mudare and then mudare the, the next thing was this option is deleted this option cannot be there now i have to just pick between la nafia and la nahia and when i see that mudare is not majzum after it so i will click number 1 option hmm? can la nafia be in any form what do you mean um, i don't understand the question my dear sister okay while sister ana um i can take your question later too okay so let me just uh, take you to the next question in the meantime um the underlying afal are called afalul khamsa the sign of marfu status in in case of al afalul khamsa is ad dhammatu zahira ad dhammatu al muqaddara sabutu an noon so which option 1 2 or 3 What do you think, my dear sisters? Three option number three, sabut in noon. So, barakallahu fiq. So, in case of a falul khamsa, our status is determined by noon. This noon is also called noonul rafa or noonul arab. Remember that, okay? So, this noon is also called noonul raf or noonul arab, and this is the determining factor for our mudare. Always remember that. Okay, so in case of mudare, there are afalul khamsa that have three pronouns. In case of afalul khamsa, the three pronouns were number one. Who can tell me? There are you. Ha you have to pick three. You have to pick three from the list of four. So number one, okay, wow, wow, will jamaa aliful is nain yaul mukhatiba. Okay, nunun niswa does not exist in al afalul khamsa because nunun niswa is a Is not in the category of all afalul khamsa. Remember, yaul hmm. mukhatiba. Yes, that's okay, my dear sister. So aliful isnain, aliful isnain, wa bil jamaa, 
and yaul muhatiba okay in are there uh, as a pronouns in al faalul khamsa these three pronouns only exist in al faalul khamsa so now the thing is the next question is select the correct status of underlined mudari la taqulu mudari marfu mansub or majzum number 3 it is majzum bi hasfin noon everyone mudari majzum bi hasfin noon clear or no okay let's next <laughs> okay the most tricky question of the test okay let's do this okay bismillah so please note the word before the mudari so what was what did that mean so for, for, for number one step was that you need to focus on lun what happens to a word that is preceded by lun when a lun is present before your mudari it makes your mudari mansub right lun is from huruf nasiba it makes mudari mansub so now the next step was you to determine how is your mudari mansub so first two options nobody should have clicked right so first two options were not even there then comes the next two options mudari mansub bil fatatu zahira is this alif this small alif carrying any fatha my dear sisters is there any fatha on that think about it can you see lan tarda can you see any fatha any haraka can this alif ever take a haraka can it ever take a haraka no it cannot my dear sisters so when you don't see something when you assume something is it zahira or muqaddara right it is muqaddara is it clear it is implied it is assumed so it is muqaddara because i cannot see my fatatu zahira right so i cannot call it fatatu zahira i'm going to call it bil fatatu muqaddara everyone with me my dear sisters right okay now we have to determine the correct status of underlined fail mudari what about taf'alu lam taf'alu what do you think is it majzum or mansub or marfu very well done okay it is majzum bi lam right because lam was one of the huruf e jazima like li lam lamma la right so lam was among the huruf e jazima along with in as well so then comes your lam taf'alu now tell me the status mansub everyone is this clear should i go ahead this one is an easy one right okay okay mansub because of lan okay when word aina ma comes before mudari it makes it mansub majzum has no effect on mudari what have you learned it makes it majzum so is it clear to each and every one of you aina ma aina haisu haisu ma anna aina the, the whole long list and aina ma is from the you know asmaul jazima it's not a harf it's a ism aina is an ism ma is zaida hmm everyone clear on this concept no confusion now i hope word in and is a small jazima can affect one mudari can affect two mudari simultaneously have no action on mudari number 2 no confusion here okay word k is harf nasiba harf jazima harf atf k number 1 nasb right it makes mudari mansub so it is harf nasiba right okay so select the correct type of underlined lam okay fal yasumhu wa li tukmilu wa li tukabiru the first one is the first one is lamul amr lamul amr and lamul amr make mudari what does it do that's that's why we are doing this 
review. Okay, it is it makes mudari majzum. Its haraka was li. It is written like li, but you have been taught when it is preceded by three words, it drops its kasra and takes on a sakun. What were those three words I have taught you and I have reviewed with you before the test as well? Number one was pa, okay. Summa, barakallahu feek. And there was one more, wow. Very well done. Wow, pa, summa. If you have before lamul jazima, which is also called lamul amr because it has connotation of a command, and amr means command, if it is preceded by wow, fa or summa, it's going to drop its kasra and it's going to take on a sakun. And you have, you know, your slides um, just before the test, I have reviewed this one with you. Okay. Whereas when lamun nasiba is preceded by any harf atf, does it undergo any change? Does it have, does anything happen to it? No, it nothing happens to it. Okay, so it remains unchanged, and you can see wali tukmilu, wali tukabiru. So these two are going to be treated as lamu nasiba, uh, nasiba, or actually lamu talil, um, and you are going to translate it as so that, and this one is going to be translated as how will you translate this lam? What was the meaning that I have given you to remember to memorize? Yasum means to fast. Then he should fast it. Should is the meaning. Okay. Should is the meaning for Lamul Amr. And for Li, it's going to be so that. Okay. Everyone, everyone with me so far? Why it cannot be Lam of emphasis? Who is going to be smart enough to tell me why this? These two lams cannot be lam lam tawhid or lam of emphasis. Very well done. Very well done. Yes, it is not with fatha. Lam tawhid is always with fatha. Barakallahu feek, my dear sisters. Lam tawhid always with fatha. Always takes a fatha. It's the haraka on lam tawhid is fatha. Do not forget that, my dear sisters. Okay. Okay, now I have a question for you. The next question, I'm, I'm on the next question now, my dear sisters. So let's see here. Select the correct explanation for the underlined word. I think um, I, I have your chat on oh, one second. Let me just sideline this chat. Okay, okay, now. Okay, now here. So what is the correct explanation for the underlined word? When you see fa and you see a mudare that is Mansub after it, what should you look for? What are, what are your options? Pa is sababiya that has hidden an after it that makes mudare mansub end. This pa is sababiya must have either a nafi before it or it must have some kind of a demanding phrase before it, okay? It can be a amr, it can be istikam, it can be nahi, it can be tahdeed, it can be tarajji, tamanni, like, you know, there should be a wish or a hope or a uh, persuasion, or if you are forcing someone to do something, or there is a negation, or there is a do not a forbidding, or there is commanding. There is, yes, there is number one here. First one is uh, uh, here because you know, here it, it, you are seeing your fa is preceded by nafi, by manafia. And, you know, uh, therefore, all the reason for it to be fa sababia that has an hidden an after it, that makes mudari mansub. Is it clear, my dear sisters? Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay. You have been given this thing. Um, I have given you the root letters as well of the word. And I asked you to select the correct status. Okay. So this mudari, what are we seeing here? Number three, majzoom bi hasfi harufi illa. Right? Easy? Hamza ta'ya. It's mudari majzoom. Huh? This is the third option. 
who this one are you uh, uh, sister sabra this one manafia no 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 you are not going to say that yes there is an uh, the mudare is mansu because of manafia no that would have been wrong answer because the thing is mudare is manafia can it affect mudare who can tell me can manafia affect a rab of mudare number one question is that and i want other sisters to answer too can manafia have an effect on jumla failure who can no it 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 will no 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 it will not have any effect on the arab of your sentence remember that manafia will not affect the arab of jumla failure it will not have any effect on your arab of jumla failure right remember that this is the first type of when manafia is before your any jumla failure it is ma ghair amila okay it cannot have effect on any it cannot affect arab of any jumla failure okay remember that okay so it cannot make mudari or madi it cannot change the arab of madi or mudari never it won't do anything to it okay it's just the un after hidden un after fa that is making that ruda mansub okay yes you do have to look for you know ma nafia or negation before because not every fa is going to be fa sababia remember that sometimes it can be atifa it can be just fa at that is transferring the status okay from un to another sentence fa is just doing the job of transference of status and we will do comparison as well when we will be a little ahead in our game at this stage it is important that we should be able to know that it can have mudare mansub after it okay yes la nafia has no effect on the fail after it yes yes it is la nahia that makes mudare mansub and that was it that was it right so these were all your question in the test we have covered everything right all the questions have been covered okay i hope this is um making some sense alhamdulillah okay so everyone is clear with whatever we have done so far okay i will ask sister faiza if she will allow um you um um if she's here i'm not sure if she's here or not but um if she was so no she was i saw her and then she, i i think um she's not there anymore but i can ask her if she can allow you to take the test again if you want okay inshallah just for your practice just for your practice okay inshallah so i am going to now start with the topic that we were supposed to cover today we have been trying to finish off our conditional statements and let's just see whatever we need to go over and then we'll come back to the conditional statements and we will do review of that okay so so far um you have been taught advatu shart jazima and then you learned advatu shart ghair jazima among the ghair jazima you have learned about lamma you have learned about iza you learned about <clears throat> kullama and also im amma right amma those were the four that we have covered in our previous sessions today we are going to learn about law okay you have seen it in quran several several times um when it comes as a conditional particle it is it sets a condition that is unrealizable untrue or improbable condition okay this condition that that is set by law is not possible there is no possibility of this happening okay so because the time has passed now you cannot go back in time and do the action okay this is a condition that has no possibility of happening okay it is not possible for this condition to happen okay for example if i say if you would have joined class on saturday i would have taught you masdar muawwal so for those of you who have not joined class on saturday is it possible for them to learn masdar muawwal now yes or no tell me now that's no now there is a possibility if you would have gone to uh, if you would have studied you would have passed the exam now the result is out 
so is it a possibility of passing the exam now there is a retake now but there is no possibility of passing the exam right right so just those statements when they are put in arabic they are these statements start with law make sense or no okay so now you will see the, the, this is going to be low is going to be translated as had such been the case the result would have been such and such usually that kind of a meaning you will see with the statements or the condition that is said by low that had such been the case the result would have been such and such okay agar aisa hota to phir ye hota theek hai zyada tar isko agar ke mano mein translate kiya jata hai urdu mein agar tum aate school aate to tum सीख लेते कुछ यानी समथिंग लाइक दैट सो इट यानी ये दिस इज समथिंग दैट इज नॉट नाउ पॉसिबल टू हैपन नाउ द ट्रेन हैज गॉन यू हैव मिस द ट्रेन इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू यू नो फुलफिल और द कंडीशन एंड दिस कंडीशन इज नॉट नॉट गोइंग टू बी हैपनिंग एनी मोर हाउ एवर यू नो दिस इज अ कंडीशन दैट टॉक्स अबाउट द पास्ट थिंग इफ दैट वुड हैव हैपन दिस वुड हैव हैपन ओके it is going to be yes at the beginning of the sentence yes it is going to be at the beginning of the sentence and jawab jawab us shart and you know i yes it is kind of you know yeah um kind of regret sometimes too so you know i, I will go over everything um afterwards and i i will do a quick recap of this uh, shart business today because we only have two particles to study today so just bear with me and just focus on what i'm trying to tell you today whenever you are taught any conditional sentence what were the three parts you were taught that you you are going to see in any given conditional statement the three parts of a conditional sentence the complete conditional sentence there will be a tool which is called advatu shart right the tool the number one you are going to look for a tool which is called advatu shart and that makes our job easy when we say advatu shart it can be an asm or it can be a har so this law is a har remember that then you look for shart the number two is your shart which is a conditional statement and number three is your jawabu shart which is the response to the condition everyone understood this yes or no in case of the uh, sentences that we have gone over previously mostly we have seen that our jumla shartiya and jawabu shart can be connected with each other through a particle what was that particle that we have been seeing so far fa and this fa is called faul rabita or faul waqia fi jawabu shart okay there are uh, faul waqia fi jawabu shart is also you know a correct name for this as well but fa aur rabita was something that you would you know taught it like uh, so keep it like that so in case of law you know what you can see in jawab you can see that your jawab has a lam at the beginning and this lam is going to be treated as the same in the same way as you treat any lam ut taqid okay surely we would have you know it you you may see in your translation in your word to word word surely for this lam and most of the lams that we have done as a lamu taqid how do we translate them for the most part they are translated as surely isn't it so you can see in case of jawab there is a lam attached to the beginning of the jawab shart okay it is not mandatory for the lam to be there you will not see lam with jawabu shart that is a negative sentence okay if your jawabu shart is a negative sentence you will not see lam for the most part everyone with me or no if your jawabu shart is a negative sentence you will probably not see lam i have not put it there because you know when you go into too much details of things um sometimes you know there is an exception for the most part if your jawabu shart is negative sentence you are not going to see lam otherwise you may or you may not see lam okay in otherwise it, there is also an option that it may be there it may not be there okay so let's do the first 
a conditional statement together the words from quran law nasha'u la ja'alnahu qutama what do you think what is your adwatu shart here law right nasha'u where is my jumla shart ya ending Nashau is the Jumla shirt here. Where is my Juabu shirt? Starting from La, very well done. Starting, it is starting from La, and where is it ending? Can I say Hutama? Very well done. Hutama. Hutama is the ending of my Jawabu shirt. If we would have will, we would have made it dry debris. Hmm? Had we willed, we would have made it dried debris. How do we know what? It is the ending because from the fa, there is another sentence starting. There's another sentence starting from fa. Okay. There's another sentence and then you would have remained the pakkahum. Okay. There's another sentence starting. Okay. Now again, let's do another one. Where is my shirt starting in the in this verse? Just real quick. In the verse number 10 from I'm sorry, I don't have the surah number. Surah name. I'm sorry. Low is start setting the condition. Kunna nasma'u au naqilu. Mulk, very well done. <laughs> Good job. And when I was reading it, I was, you know, last night that I was, I was going to tell you this morning, but now, you know, I forgot about it. Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. Okay, so where, where, where am I ending? Where, where, where is my shirt ending? If we would have heard or we would have understood, Naqilu is the ending of my Jumla Shartiya and my Jawabu shirt is starting from Ma Kunna Fi Ashabi Sayir, right? The whole sentence after it, from starting from my nafia, is going to be my jawabu shirt. Ma kunna fi ashabi sair. Yes, if it is neg negative sentence, it is going to not have lam. In 99.9% .9 of cases, if it is a negative, it is if it is a negative sentence, which it is, if this is ma nafia, in that case you will not see lam. Therefore, word usually is there. Okay. Now let me show you another example so that all the confusion is gone. Let's just do this verse, verse number 70 from Quran again. My apologies about the surah number and if someone can find the surah, good for them and share in, in the class, inshallah. Let's see. Adwatu shirt is low. It's saying, oh, okay. It's low. Is the ad Adwatu shirt. Yes, these two are from the same surah and I, I forgot the name of those. These two. Yeah, the first and the third are from the same surah. So low is your... Ah. Low is your... Adwatu shirt nasha'u is your jumla shartiya. Ja'alnahu ujaja is your. What is your jawabu shirt? Everyone with me so far. My dear sister, is this clear? Mm -hmm. this, this verse is from Surat Mulk. And this is talking about Jahannam. And let me explain it to you. I will use this verse to help you understand whatever I was trying to 
teach you when I started to give you, um, a, you know, a small uh, bit about love. You know, if we would have heard and understood, we would have not been Ashabu Sa'id, people of the fire. Was it now possible for them to listen and understand the message of Quran or whatever message they were given when they are already in the hellfire? So is there any possibility? Of, so this is how this, this love works. Okay, there is no possibility. Okay, if we would have built, surely we would have made it khutama. Did Allah made it khutama? No, Allah did not. Allah did not. Allah is just warning them. If we would have will, we would have made it dry debris, but Allah did not do that. Right? Allah can do anything, but here Allah is showing that He He this is not going to happen. This is not this did not happen because I did not want it to happen. Okay. Everyone with me so far? The third ayah. This one, the last one. Lo nashau. If we would have milled, uh, willed, we would have made it ujajan. Ujajan, I think it's a, um, let me just quickly see the meaning. I don't remember on top of my head. If somebody remembers, please um, help here. Ujajan is something uh, to taste, uh, something to do with the taste. So if we would have, um, if we will, we verily could make it salt and undrinkable. Something that is undrinkable, very salty. Yeah. Okay. So did Allah made it very, very salty? No. Allah is, you know, telling you um, that, you know, it would have been made very, very salty, but it's not. Hmm? Is this clear? Sister Ranas? Are you all with me? Okay. And there are many examples that we are going to do today. And we still have 40 minutes. And let's just be uh, productive, okay? Yeah, this ayah, uh, I think, Sister Zora, this one, isn't it uh, from, from uh, Surat Vakya? This uh, is um, uh, uh, Sabra saying these, the, this 65 and 70 is from Surtul Vakya. And yeah, they are both from Vakya. The middle one is from Surat Mulk. Right? Mm. Okay. Right? The first one is from the Vakya and the third one is also from Vakya. The middle one is from Mulk. Okay? Alhamdulillah. Okay, so let's just go on to the next one. Okay? So as you are with me so far, and what did, we, what did I tell you about love? Is it a harp or, or an ism, my dear sisters? I want everyone to answer. Everyone to answer. Is it a harf or an ism? It's a harf. Do I look for a rab of that? Do I worry about a rab of haruf in Quran? I do not. My dear sisters, it has no place in a rab. It cannot be muqtada, khabar, mutalik, bil khabar. It cannot be majzu, fi mahali, majzu, jazm. It cannot be anything like that. Okay? So remember that. Now comes your word, lawla. Okay? It is translated as if it was not for, if it was not for, laula, if it was not for, agar na hota, okay? agar na hota, any confusion about it, there are two particles that come together and create a conditional statement, okay, and the, they, they come together, lau and la, they, they come together and they are translated as if it was not for. Okay, agar na hota, which is the Urdu of laula. And it, in this case, you will see this condition particle is always followed by an ism. Everyone with me so far understood this. When laula is a shartiya, when laula is shartiya, it is always going to be followed by an ism. Everyone write it in the chat. When laula is a shart, when laula is harf shart, it is always going to be followed by an ism. Remember that. It always is followed by jumla ismiya since it begins with an ism with khabar mahzuf. Okay? It does not have a khabar there. It will have a, you know, muqtada, but there is no khabar there. Okay? 
remember that its jawab can have lam attached to it just like lau has a lam attached to its jawab it can also have lam attached to its jawab everyone understood this mahzuf means omitted omitted not there not visible dropped easy or no and now i'm going to show you okay let me see falawla fadlullah falawla fadlullah alaykum agar na hota if it was not for favor of allah upon you wa rahmatuhu and his mercy lakuntum min al khasirin surely you would have been from the losers i am going to tell you one thing as i told you you will see it is followed by jumla ismiya or an uh, number one thing is you need to know when laula is a shart it is going to be followed by nisam it cannot be followed by anything but nisam remember that number two you need to know is it will have a jumla ismiya with a khabar mahzu okay so fadlullah what will you label fadlullah as if I, you are given the statement fadlullah what is fadlullah fad fadl what comes to your mind idafa and what else what is the next step now you are now advanced students almost fadlullah fadlullah can how can it be mutalliq bi khabar if it is in you know fadl fadl is means bounty of allah fadl means favor of allah is had does it have anything to do with time place my dear sisters is it jar wal majrur it is mubtada it is mubtada my dear sisters it is mubtada it because you need to look for jumla ismiya parts jumla ismiya has mubtada khabar fadlullah is if it was any or uh, 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 kitabullah kareemun uh, book of allah is kareem right so kitabullah is not going to be mutalliq bil khabar do it is an idafa rasulullah sadiq right why you are not going to you know call it you know rasulullah mutalliq bil you are going to call it mubtada right make sense or no so now fadlullah is your mubtada alaykum mutalliq bil khabar wa rahmatuhu what are you going to uh, um, rahmatuhu what is rahmatuhu ah ah not to look at the this is amina what are you doing look look and uh, there is something before rahma ah uh ah -uh. you are going to just call this wow at and you are going to call it rahmatuhu is going to be called matuf only my dear sisters that was the whole purpose of teaching you and spending so much time on this matuf concept that you cannot call it mubtada number 2 because that is wrong it is not the same thing ulaika humul khasirun ulaika humul muhtadun right that's okay but you know these concepts that is why people make blunders and make mistakes because you know you cannot call mubtada 1 mubtada 2 that case, in that case ulaika you can call mubtada 1 and then hum and a mubtada sani but no not in this case you are just going to call it matuf and that is understood that is going to go with rahma um, fad rahma is going to go with fad right and you just call it matuf yeah yes okay everyone with me i did not mean to you know um what you, what should i say you know this is all for your benefit so that you are able to connect each and everything precisely and most accurately okay inshallah my dear sisters and now let me do it in you know um again okay and then see what what is there if if favor of allah and mercy of allah was not present upon you all surely you would have been from the losers what did i do what did it i add i'm i'm that's what i'm explaining in and 
translate. What did I add? It, listen again. Surely is already there. Surely is already in the sentence. Lakuntum. It is lam, right? Lakuntum. If, if favor of Allah and mercy of Allah was not present upon you all, surely you all would have been from the losers. Think about it again. But it was the word that you are seeing here in my translation and is not in your text, in the words of Quran from Surah Al-Baqarah. Not present, right? Present is not there. Was not is there. Lies there. This present word was not written there. Make sense or no? Right? So this is what is meaning of mawjood is. What is the meaning of mawjood? Sister Ranas, are you Urdu speaker or no? Because we have this word in Urdu as well. Hmm? Hmm? So if it was not for the favor of Allah and mercy of Allah upon you all, this is, you know, without that, without present, you'd still, you know, understood that, you know, the word present could have been there, okay? Was Or you can also say, have, has it not been, the you know, um, if it was not, um, uh, if the Allah, uh, if the bounty of Allah and the mercy of Allah was not there upon you all, surely you would have been from the losers. So this present, there is the meaning of mawjood and we assume it to be there but this, this, this is assumed to be there. This is taqdiran, but the word is not actually written. Lam can be after the nafi. It cannot be before the nafi. That was the thing that you know, need to know. Lam can be after the nafi. You can see lam. You will see very, very many times lam can be after the nafi, after a sentence it can follow. You know, after laula, you can see it. But you cannot see lala or lama. You cannot see that. Is it good? Lak yes, it's the start of lakuntum is the start of jawab, Ushurt, my dear sister. You are right. You are right. Sister Zohra, is it clear? No, my question is, uh, is present khabar here? Yes. Which is yes. mahzoof. Yes, yes, that is khabar. That is mahzoof. Okay, okay. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. Is it clear to each and every one of you, my dear sisters? The rest, you did not understand? Okay, let me show you then a little something and see if that helps, okay? Where is my review? Oh, I didn't see. Google Docs. Here we are. Okay. Just think about this part. Okay. This part, bounty of Allah. What did we call it? My dear sisters. Bounty of Allah is the beginning of your sentence. If is your um, harf, so it is your muqtada, right? For every muqtada, what do you look for? 
you all. You look for khabar number one, right? You look for khabar. Hmm? Okay, so this is your Muptada. Let me highlight it and call it Muptada. And our Muptada is going to be here yellow. This is my upon you all is my what it was upon you all, alaykum. What did we call alaykum? Mutalik bil khabar is going to be green. What is this there? You have muptada, you have mutalik bil. What is there or present? Or I can, it is your khabar. Right? It is your khabar. Is it there and visible in your sentence? Can you spot it in your sentence? Everyone answer, please. Can you see it in your sentence? I want Sister Zarina, Sister Rubin, Sister Faiza. Can you see it in your sentence? Where is Maujudun? But if I just put Falawla Fadlullahi Alaikum wa Rahmatuhu Maujudun, Lakuntu min al Qasirin. Is it, I, am I not translating it? I'm not implying the word mawjood there. Is it not, you know, implied? Huh? Huh? Is it not implied, right? It is implied there, right? Huh? Makes sense a little bit. You know, you have to sometimes, you know, think beyond the box. Sometimes you will see in Arabic, just like, you know, you have to, you know, and op with open-mindedness, you have to take things. And you have to tell yourself, I may not get it the first time. But I will get it eventually, okay? Inshallah, it will make sense. It will make sense. And that is the whole point of learning what we are trying to learn, okay? So we have seven minutes. Let's just, you know, that's okay. So now I, I hope everyone is with me. What do you need to look for for Laula to be a short particle? Basic question. My question is very simple. I need a very simple answer. When I see Laula, what should be after it for me to call it Harf Shart? Okay. Okay, my dear sisters. Barakallahu feek. What about Laula here? Falawla tashkurun. Is this a shirt? Very simple question. And, and I need a very simple answer. Barakallahu feek, my dear sisters. Barakallahu feek. You are not going to call this laula as harf shart. You know what is this word doing here? Why not you all say thanks? Why not you all uh, show gratitude? What I am doing by say, by saying why why don't you show gratitude? What am I going? To, what am I trying to imply with that? Am I asking something? No. Think about it again. Why don't you? Uh, why don't you be more grateful? What am I trying to do with you when I tell you, Sister Samina? Sister Samina, you have so much. You 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 learn Quran. You are understanding. You're doing so much. You know, you you are doing so much better. You have learned so many things. You have your practice as well, and you are able to Alhamdulillah learn Quran as well. Why don't you be more grateful to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? Advising, yes, and am I just you know directing a person? Am I not, you know, being pushy and persuasive? Hmm? Gentle urging. Remember we once did gentle urging? Ard. After which we see Fasabia, right? I'm demanding something, someone to do something. Am I not asking Sister Zamina to do something when I'm asking her to do that? Yes or no? And depending on the authority of the person, it can be gentle urging, which can be ard, and it can be a forceful urging, which will be tahdeed when it comes from Allah, because he is, you know, he is Rabbu samawati wal ardi. So it is going to be tahdeed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forcefully telling us, why don't you, you know, show gratitude? Huh? We do that to our children all the time. So, you know, when you do that to, to your children all the time, don't, when you are in grammar class, you have to remember all those principles of language that you normally do in your everyday life. You have to come with them in this class too, because we need them. 
if we don't have them handy in our hands you know it's very difficult to understand concepts okay so remember this laula is urging once upon a time we did it with paus sabapia hmm? that you know i'm asking allah subhanahu wa taala is asking you all to be more grateful and so samina i just uh, used your example um it just you know um because uh, just for example but this is not to you know i'm not implying anything okay so it's i don't you know i i know you are a very grateful person i'm sure but you know i just you know took you in as, as an example so that you know it is understandable for all of us okay inshallah so don't take it personally okay inshallah <laughs> okay barakallahu feek my dear sister so okay so now everyone with me so far no one is sleeping in the class today i hope not <laughs> no one okay so let's get ready okay we have how many minutes 1257 okay let me just show you a little bit of this um this example is there yes i am going to show you hmm. and i'm going to show you the easy ones laula yukallimuna allahu aw ta'tina aya what is this laula is this laula harf sharf and i'm going to treat it together as a harf sharf together okay it's going to be coming together okay it's not barakallahu feek it is not it it is tahdeed it is forcing someone to do something okay it's in, it's, it's demanding someone to do something okay so now how about and there you know um this one what do you, what do you think about this one this one walaula daf'u llahi daf'u llahi an-nasa ba'dahum bi ba'din la fasadat al-ard what about daf'u llahi what about daf'u llahi it is daf'u is an idafa so laula what about laula now now since you know daf'u llahi is an idafa daf'u is an ism so it laula is adwatu shart adwatu shart laula is harf as a tahdid too it is harf tahdid but here it is shart because it is followed by an ism okay walau sha allah what do you think walau sha allah maqtatal allazina min ba'dihim min ba'di what is this law no now this is now a, a law again this is not law la this is law this is shart or not right this is shart shart sha allah where is my jumla sharfiya ending ولو شاء الله ما اقتتل الذين من بعدهم الله is the ending of my jumla shartiya ما اقتتل الذين من بعدهم من بعد ما جاءتهم البينات ما اقتتل is starting my jawab with shart why there is no la here jawab shart has no la usually la, la, um, la, after law we do see la yes there is a nafiya jumla ma nafiya is there and when there is a negation when jawab shart is negative sentence in 99.9% of cases there is no la 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 would not exist okay there is no no la if jawab shart is going to be a negative sentence i will have to end here inshallah uh, this saturday i will continue uh, the quick recap of um, conditional sentences inshallah and please do go over them and i hope you um, uh, would find some time to review them and inshallah uh, we will um, you know finish off our topic of jumla shartiya and inshallah uh, probably we will only do jumla shartiya in this saturday with more practice from quran inshallah um, and um, i will have to stop recording here سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك